what, here's what happens if this country goes the way of Britain and, for instance, caves into Muslim pressure to change our laws and customs to suit new arrivals, such as is now threatened in Minneapolis. There it is Somali Muslims who want to dictate rules about who can be carried in a taxi cab and who taxi drivers must carry or lose their license. In Britain, this creeping Islamization has hit the public schools, according to a new government study, where teachers are avoiding some subjects in history, such as the Holocaust. The Daily Mail reports today, and I quote, the government study found that some teachers are reluctant to cover the Holocaust atrocity for fear of upsetting students whose beliefs include Holocaust denial. Now, if those students whose beliefs include Holocaust denial were to be skinhead students who are simply anti-Semitic, the lessons would go right on, I'll bet you. The paper went on to report that the 11th century crusades were also not taught because the le lessons all often contradict what is taught in the local mosque. Can't have that. If the imam says up is down, then so be it. Same with the crusades. If you want to know all about that, Sonny, just get on down to the mosque. When teachers dropped the Holocaust section of the history class, the government study found they did so in order to avoid overtly anti-Semitic discussions in class, along with blatant Holocaust denial. In an act that could almost be described as preemptive self-defense, teachers were making certain not to discuss subjects in which the students probably already had very firmly held positions which they picked up at home or in a place of worships, a worship. In other words, the Brits are discovering that straight history is to be avoided in schools with Muslim children. The next thing we'll hear is that they decided to teach history so they have bent their standards to, and are teaching mosque-approved history. It is sometimes said by Islamic organizations that people who object to the situation I've just described are biased against Muslim. No. The bias is against change in law from English common law to Sharia. The bias is against the massaging of history to suit the biases and prejudices of the student and his or her family. It's happening to the Brits right now, same as the hostage crisis. Our friends the Brits are an early warning system, and what is happening there is fair warning to us.